Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be looking at the Leatherman Charge Plus G10 collection. And the theme behind these is Leatherman is making the Charge Plus with G10 scales, but these particular models are being sold, are being, uh, they're manufactured by Leatherman, but being sold through exclusive retailers here in the U.S. So you have to buy these particular models through whatever retailer is carrying whatever particular model. Now the first one is going to be sold by REI. It runs $169.99. That's the red version. The orange version is sold by uh, Bass Pro Shops Cabela's. Uh, it retails for $179.99. And the latest version, the G10 Earth, is available through Sportsman's Warehouse. Now the first two, you can actually go to the physical stores. You can go to either the REI, Cabela's, or Bass Pro Shops to get uh, one of these two multi-tools or you can get them through their online stores however on the one the black version uh, you actually have to go to a sportsman's warehouse and there's only 112 locations in the u.s and five of those are in alaska so it's pretty limited on where you can purchase these i was fortunate enough that i have a friend that lives in the area in arizona in the phoenix area and she was able to find one of these for me uh, purchase it and then send it to me by mail so that's how i acquired mine now for those that uh are wanting to get this online unfortunately you can't they don't even list it in their online store, which hopefully that will change because I know this one is super popular. I don't know how many they intend to make. I know that there are still in stock in, in different sportsman's warehouse. In fact, where she got mine just a week ago, uh, there were still like six on the shelf. So they, they do have quite a few left. I don't know how limited the stock is going to be. Uh, and hopefully they'll continue to make them because they, they are very popular. It, it would kind of be uh, not make good business sense to, to stop making them because of, of their popularity. Now, what do you get with the Charge Plus G10 versions? Well, first of all, the G10 is one of the biggest attractors. Uh, first of all, it allows you to get it in different color schemes to kind of match your personal preference. Then the G10 scales themselves, the patterns that they put on there is actually very grippy. And so when you open this up and you're actually using it, you don't get the sense that this is going to just slip out of your hand. It doesn't feel like a normal Leatherman with just the regular stainless steel uh, housings to them. So you get a very comfortable grip with them. Now, the biggest att uh, attractor for these, though, is the fact that in their main blade steel, they use the S30V blade steel that you find in the Leatherman Charge Plus TTI, the titanium version. Uh, this, is a, this is a little bit better blade steel than what you will get in a regular Charge Plus, which comes with 154 CM, but it also is reflected in the price. That's why, as part of the reason why these are a bit more expensive, that combined with the G10 scales. So... As far as the rest of the tool set goes, there it's exactly the same that you get in any Charge Plus model and pretty much uh, on par with what you'll get in the Leatherman Wave uh, Plus as well. So you have your saw blade. Your serrated blade is different for the fact uh, above the Wave where you get the, the uh, cutting hook in it. Now this is just a 428C on the serrated blade though. And then your diamond coated file as well for the outside tools. On the inside, you get your standard pliers. Uh, in 2018, they started adding in the replaceable wire cutters and hard wire cutters for uh, the wave and charge models. So needle nose, regular pliers, your two hard, uh, soft and hard wire cutters. And then on the back of the pliers, you get wire crimping functionality as well. And then on the inside, you have your screwdriver, your combination tool. Uh, on the opposite side, you have your scissors, your main flat driver, which also doubles as your pry tool, and the micro driver. So these are all pretty standard tools that you're going to get in the Leatherman Wave. Uh, with the exception, the only difference being in that cutting hook uh, for the Leatherman uh, Charge Plus models. So... These are very nice multi-tools to handle. They really are. And what makes, I think probably what makes the, the G10 Charge uh, Earth so popular is the fact that it come, it's the only one that comes with black oxide tools to date. And because they're using a black uh, scale, that black on black look is, is very, very, very popular. It's probably the favorite of mine among these. Uh, second would prob probably be the red. 
the orange is nice, but but these lighter tones they tend to attract a lot of uh, dirt and grime very easily. And because the G10 scales are a little bit more porous, they're going to be a lot harder to clean out. So just and and I don't use mine. Mine are just uh, part of my collection because I do collect multi tools. So just with very light use, though, I've already gotten a lot of dirt and grime on these scales that I need to try to get cleaned up. It may not show that well on camera, but they do attract uh, they do attract dirts very easily, dirts and oils. So that's one thing to consider when you're when you're thinking about which one might be best for you is that the lighter colors are definitely going to attract more of dirt and grime. Now there there are some other colors that I would love to see in this line. Uh, I personally would like to see a really deep blue. I think that would look really nice on this multi-tool. A deep blue with black oxide tools I think would look fantastic. Uh, it would probably look good in regular stainless as well. I also think something like a, a hunter green would look very very nice as well. Maybe you guys have some colors that you think would look good in GTN scales on the Leatherman Charge Plus uh, models, on the G10 models. If you do, just put your favorite down there. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But I think that a blue, a deep blue and, a, and like a hunter green would look really nice in these. Maybe if they went with a, a, a tan, a desert tan as well. But again, those lighter colors are going to tend to attract a lot more dirt and grime uh, and going to be a lot harder to keep clean or maintain. So this has been a look at the Leatherman Charge Plus G10 collection, the three models that are available so far. I will leave links down in the description box for uh, where you can purchase these through REI and Bass Pro Shops. Unfortunately, there won't be a link for the uh, for the Earth model again because they don't they don't sell them online as of today. Maybe in the future that'll change. If, if it does, I will come back and I will update it and I'll put a link in there for that. For now, you'll have to go to Sportsman's Warehouse physically to purchase one of these. This has been a look at the Leatherman Charge Plus G10 collection. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.